Now in this upcoming module, we're going to be learning various methods for solving a special kind of equation called a quadratic equation. Now these kinds of equations will be very useful for helping you solve certain kinds of application problems. Now our first task will be to be able to recognize when we have a quadratic equation. Now if we do, it will be that we can put the equation into the form that you see written below here in blue, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. We refer to this form of a quadratic equation as being in standard form. Now you note that uh, the coefficient of x squared can't be zero because it's really the x squared term that makes an equation a quadratic equation. So let's take a look at the example we have here. x times the quantity x plus 5 equals 50. And let's show that this is indeed a quadratic equation. So what we'll do is multiply out on the left hand side. So we'll have x squared plus 5x is equal to 50. And you'll note in the standard form that we want one side to be 0. So what we'll do next is subtract 50 from both sides. So we'll have x squared plus 5x minus 50 is equal to 0. And so now we have the equation in standard form. And we recognize that the coefficient of x squared, our a value in this case, will be equal to 1. The coefficient of x, which is the b value, is equal to 5. And the constant term c, in our case, is equal to negative 50. 